Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about some ideas for your arm strength, for your workout at home, for your next Paris class. If you're a teacher, this is going to be the right thing for you. Let's go. Get your weights. If you have 500 grams, a kilo, it doesn't matter, 200 grams. And maybe stand a little wider than hip distance. And you have, of course, your weights in your hands. We start with a little warm up, lifting your arms to the side, more or less onto shoulder height, and bringing them back down. Again, and lifting up and down. Try to do this as controlled as possible. and relax your shoulders. We have last three, and two, and last time. Then, let's go. Arms front, and back next to your hips, and front, and back. Yes, you can exhale, lift your arms, inhale down. Good. Let's go for last three, and two, good, and last time. Nice, now we did these two exercises. Let's combine these two exercises. So we go sides, front, down. And again, side, front, down. As controlled as possible, again. Same direction. Also here, last three, and two, and last one. Good. Let's go the opposite direction. Front, side, down. Front, down. This is half time. So we have five to go. And one last time. Good. I'm just going a little bit sideways. You can see the better. You can stay facing me. We bend our knees just a little bit so they're kind of soft. Then upper body just come a little bit front. Let's bring, uh, let's face this weight away from us. And we're going to lift the arms up as much as we can and bring them halfway down. And again, lift them up and down. When you continue, make sure that your shoulders are going away from your ears and your shoulder blades are gently slightly squeezing to they're going the shoulder blades are going towards the spine yes good also we have here five to go can you lift a little higher six Good, and last time, can we keep our arms lifted? Can we go a little bit higher? A little bit higher, a <laughs> little bit higher. Good, hold it there. We're doing 10 tiny little pulses up and down. Mini movements, and up and down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, make your arms even longer, and lift your arms a centimeter up. Again, last 10, I promise, here we go, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and take a pause. Relax, shake your arms for one second. Let's do one last warm, ex uh, warm up exercise, I guess, then we're kind of warm. I'm standing again a little sideways. Of course, you can stand facing towards your camera. Palms are facing towards each, towards each other. Again, lift your arms. This time, keep them lifted. Only move your forearm, bend more or less to 90 degrees, and extend. Bend, extend, yes. Also, while you continue with your arm movement, make sure that you get an activation in your center. So you draw the abdominal wall in. Last three, two, 
good. One and down. Actually, I was lying. I said one last exercise. Now I'm promised this is the last exercise because we didn't last exercise standing. Don't worry, not for today. Bring your arms in this position. What we're going to do, only extend your right arm up towards the ceiling and bend your right arm. We do the same thing with your left arm up and down. Now we go both arms up. So on one time right, bend one time left, bend and both arms. Good. And again, right and left together. Here we go. Nice again. Right. Also try to do it here as controlled as possible. And if you want to open the arm a little bit towards the side, it's also okay. It doesn't have to be completely right next to your head, depending on your shoulder mobility. Or if you feel there's a little bit of tension there. Good. Up. We have five times this nice combo. And this is one. Right, left, and two. Right, left, and three. Right, <laughs> left, and four. Last time, right, left, and both. Nice. Good. Good. I think we're kind of a little bit warm for the arms and for the shoulders. Nice. Let's go down and get the rest of the body warmed up. Or maybe just a little bit um, in some strengthening stuff. So what we're going to do, switch the camera again. So. We're going lying on our backs, legs are bent, and we're going to have one weight in our in between our hands. So right here. Legs can be also a little bit hip distance apart open. We're going to prepare with an inhale. With your next exhale, lift your chest and bring your weight over your knees or as far as you can. When you do an inhale, you come back. Again, exhale, lift, inhale, down, and up, and down. Yes, it doesn't matter if you have a weight in your hand or uh, a bottle of water or some sugar. That's also good. <laughs> Let's go for five, up, and down, and four. Two, nice. One last time, can we keep our chest lifted? And we're going to do a little tiny pulses up and down movements. Let's go for eight, seven. Exhale up, inhale down. Six, five, four, three, two. Last time, one, and relax for one second. Move your head side to side. You can keep your weight into your in between your hands. What we're going to do is we're going to lift our chest again, but this time I would like you to bring your weight arms on the left outside of your knee over cross and coming back up back uh, coming back to a starting position. Perfect. Exhale up, over cross and down. Yes. And of course with each repetition we can lift our chest a little higher. <laughs> of course. And <laughs> Four, good, and five of eight, six, seven, good, and last time also here we're going to keep our chest lifted. We're getting ready for our eight little tiny up and down pulses of our upper body. Let's go, and up and down, eight, seven, of course, always a little higher, six, Five, four, nice, three, two, last time, one, good, take a pause and relax for one second, nice. I think you all know what's coming, <laughs> we're going to go next to our other side, so arms up, hand weights in between, your you can also, I just forgot if you want, you can also take both weights in your hands, just if you want to. Good. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Lift and over cross. To your right side. And back. And up. And down. Four. 
Nice. Last two. And then let's keep our chest lifted, ready for our pulses up and down. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And take a pause, bring your upper body down. Nice. We're going to give our ab abdominals a little pause and we can have our weights again in our hands. So one weight in our right hand, one in your left hand. What we're going to do is you extend your arms up towards the ceiling and your weights, palms are facing towards your feet. You can open your arms just a little bit shoulder distance apart and bring your arms over your head if you have enough space as much as you can down and lift your arms up again so your weights, hands are facing towards facing the ceiling. Yes. And here if you feel pressure in your shoulder, either lower your arms less or open them a little bit to the side. And if your arms weights, hands are not touching the floor, that's totally fine. Do what you can. It's a nice shoulder opener with a little bit of resistance. And again, you decide how far you want to go. Last two. And one. Good, then we have the arms up towards the ceiling. This time, let's face the weights, palms towards each other. And your elbows, arms are slightly, a little bit bent. When you're going to open them to the side. And back. Yes, make sure that you have enough space. <laughs> if not, you can also bend the arms slightly. That's also working. And I don't want you to paint your wall again. <laughs> Yes, it's a super also opener for your chest. Also here, it's the same thing. Make sure that you go as far as it's comfortable for you. Last two. And good. Now let's go a big circle. So now we lift your arms over your head, move them to the side, back on the outside of your upper body and lift them up. So like a completely circle and make sure of course that you decide how low you want to bring your arms towards the floor. Yes. And last circle in this direction. Now, let's do six times the opposite direction. So just lower, open, and up. Yes. Down. Maybe you hear just a little bit of noises in your shoulder. That's totally fine. Unless it's uncomfortable, then do a smaller circle. And last one. And good. For now, keep your weights to the side, away from your mats, but in your dis in, in the distance that you can reach them and bring your arms right next to your upper body. Well, we're going to do a little bit preparation or a little bit warm up for our deep muscles. So from here, bring your lower back slightly closer towards your mat and draw the abdominal wall in. You can press with your hands and your arms down into your mat and lift one after the other leg up to tabletop. Maintain this position in your center. We're going to do a couple of toe taps. So you one after the other leg. Good. If it's uncomfortable for your feet to point your foot, you can also flex them. Just if you, it's your choice. And also, if you want to make this exercise a little bit more, cha more challenging, bring your toes or your heels further away from you. So that means your legs are getting a little longer. Nice. 
Let's go for three more times, each side, switch. And one last time, good. Bring both legs back again to tabletop and you can close them completely. We're going to lower and lift both legs at the same time, down as much as you can hold it, and up. We have five more, and up. And one last time. Good. And then bring your feet down for one second. Shake them for a little second. And now let's bring the hands behind your head. Support your head. And exhale, lift your chest. Keep your chest lifted. And bring your legs again to tabletop. Good. Again, chest stays lifted six times. Both legs lower and lift. Can we lift our chest a little higher? Yes. And one last time. Good. And a little pause. Shake your legs. How can we? I would like to make this exercise a little bit more interesting. <laughs> can we take one of our weights and place them in between our feet? Like here in between like that. I hope you can see that, but I have black socks and black weights. Yes. Yes. Monique, you have to be like, like discs. This is really interesting for your inner thighs too. Yes. Good. So now keep your legs in tabletop. Bring your hands again behind your head. Lift your chest. Keep your chest lifted. I'm going to do six times the same thing. Down and up. Yes. And control it from your center. If you lower your legs less, that's fine. Good, Emily. A little lower. <laughs> Yes, one centimeter. Okay, half an inch. Half an inch. Okay. Sehr gut. And one last time. Good. And then relax for one second. I know you can hate me if I'm asking you to do an exercise bigger, but it's going to be okay. You're going to love me in the end of the class, I promise you. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you would like to see the entire class, we have a perfectly you membership. You can uh, just find the description, our link. If you want to see the next video, go over here or don't forget to subscribe over there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bye.